bunch your hair up just to start to get this natural texture going. And the leave-in conditioner is really good for the summer. So we did that, we blow dried it up, and then the key is that Katie was asking how she could do this at home, how to get, change the part like that. And she has a colic, so she'll tend to get like a little more of a lift on this side. And so to do that is you'll take a little bit of the mousse once you've made the part and then put the mousse right here on the part and then just blow dry down. And you don't want to make a lot of movement. So when you're changing a part, you want to, it's making a physical change, so going from wet to dry. So you need to have a little bit of product and then blow drying to get that to stay so that you don't have like a big flip and then a flat side. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing to get this kind of look is actually just to, to section out. And then you're going to take a piece. And the key to doing this kind of vintage inspired look is doing the same pattern all the way around. So as we go, we're going to take a one inch curling iron. I'm going to show you guys, and then I need someone to come up and try. So does anybody want to try? <laughs> Think about it. it. <laughs> you can do it on her. This sounds like fun. I think you can do it. Come on up. Put your hands on my hand. Okay, so to do, um, as opposed to just sort of a beachy wave, like to get something that has this you know, when you see it, it kind of all comes together, and you can see the wave starting to make a pattern that's similar to that vintage style, but much softer. So the key is to just separate this out. And then you just clip this out of the way. And then you want to take the same sections as you go. So every time you do it, you're taking about the same size section. And then the nice thing, too, about these, the products, the hairsprays, is that you can use them as a styling product. So you could spray this directly on the hair before you iron. So we're going to take this piece, spritz it down, and then take the iron. And I'm sure you guys have seen this before. And it's one of my favorite things and something I use in celebrities all the time. But it's really simple. It's not opening and closing the iron or curling it up. And that's what I think it's really hard to understand the old Hollywood. Because everyone thinks they've got to do this amazing set and it's really hard to do at home on your own. So you're going to take it and just keep the the rod closed, and then hold it upside down like this, and then you're just wrapping it away from the face. <laughs> and then holding the end like that. And then all, the other really important thing is you don't want to flip the iron, you don't want to do anything. All you want to do is slide this piece off. And that's how you get that kind of a wave. And then the key to doing it the old Hollywood style is that we're actually going to pin it up. So we're going to keep it so it sets really nicely. So who wants to try? Want to try? 